Hello YouTube Reservoir, where you're here with a uh, mail day video and a package from my friend Alex, which should be on my Milkman 68 channel, but, uh, you know, did a little Black Friday shopping after work, which was very busy today, and hell, it was hell, because of a deal we did, but, uh, anyway, uh, went to Target in hopes of finding Upper Deck Series 1, couldn't, obviously, but it's okay, because I got a hockey, uh, fire sale purchase, <coughs> that I totally forget about it. Totally forgot about it. And this one has a lot of cards, so I'm excited. And I only say it's a lot of cards because he had to send two packages. Came from British Columbia. I guess that's why it took almost a month, I think. Well, you, you, you know how a postage is in Canada now and whatnot, but... Sorry if I... Sorry if I sound a bit under the weather. Just been crazy work week and, you know, allergies and whatnot. But, um... I wanted to get a couple more games than the one I than the only one I just got got, but uh, unfortunately the other part of my check didn't clear. I wanted to get ult, uh, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Four for the Xbox One, um, mainly because I like fighting games. I do like the Naruto games, and uh, would have been fun video. Uh, would have been fun to do videos for you guys, but uh, yeah, since the other part of my check didn't clear, I only had enough to get um, two things I got from Target. And then, when I bought the Wii U game, I realized, oh crap, I forgot, I lost my uh, gamepad charger. So I had to drive all the way to, ga I had to drive to GameStop in hopes they had one. They didn't have a charger, but they had this 9 foot long USB cable that hooks up to the back of your Wii U to charge your gamepad. Now the only problem I can see with that product is, what if you're using the uh, GameCube adapter? But what I'm thinking is, okay, since it's a USB and it is pretty long, just connect it to your USB charger for your phone and then put it in the wall that way. I mean, it, it's convenient that it's 9 feet, so there you go. Plenty of room and whatnot. I gotta test that, see if it works. I think it should, though. But, um, I also wanted to get The Division. It was on sale for 25 I know there's a lot of mixed reactions about the game and whatnot. But then I looked on eBay and saw it for like $17, so I'm like, yeah, never mind, there was nothing else, I mean, there was the Handsome Jack collection, which I wanted for Borderlands, but, um, that was free, I remember that was free on Xbox Live for a little bit, but, um, I don't think I have it anymore since it's not backwards compatible yet, I think, or something, or something weird. Maybe it was because I didn't have Xbox Live Gold, or maybe it was just free for a little bit. I don't remember, but it's right, because when I went to GameStop, I saw it uh, for like 20-something, so I'm like, okay, not, not too bad. So, first off, I finally got a copy of the stage. I know it took forever, <laughs> but finally got a copy. I really do love this album. It's it's creative like the self-titled and the self-titled's my favorite. Thought I'd show that quickly. We got that. And then the Wii U game I got is one I should have had by now. I cannot wait to show you guys the levels I have made in Super Mario Maker. I wish I recorded my friend trying to beat one of my levels. It... He was literally there for almost an hour just trying to beat it. It was hilarious. But I'm going to open this up for you guys. Since I'm a bit under the weather, I'm probably not going to really hang out with my friends tonight. So, yeah, this. This is what I'll be doing tonight. Uh, I can never open things like camera. This was actually the last copy, too, and it was 35, I think. So, you get the uh, idea book. Which I don't really need. Jeez, this thing's thick. Wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I'll probably... I say I don't need it, but maybe I can actually get a reference. Yeah. Probably get good references out of these. I like using the uh, Super Mario World. I mean, I use that on my friends since when I got the game, I didn't really have that unlocked. But I, I love using 8-bit only because uh, with how you can use the Amiibos. That's always fun. So I'll just skim through that. 
That's very nice how they have this idea book. And then here's the game. Which, obviously, is, why am I trying to do this when I know I don't have the greatest snails in the world? Top loader. <laughs> why not? Anyway, I lost my train of thought for a sec. Obviously, there's no, like, Club Nintendo thing in this anymore. I miss Club Nintendo. It was fun. Hopefully, uh... I mean, I definitely am going to get more Nintendo games since they do have that nice sale going on. Here's the inside. There's the disc. I cannot wait to play this. There's one little thing I got as well for Black Friday. Like I said, it was kind of limited. I mean, if Target still has some games on sale tomorrow, I'll go and get some. Since the rest of my check will clear and I'll have paycheck and whatnot. But, um... The depth of thing I was talking about... Got the set game stuff, which had a longer line than Target for some reason. But it's this, uh, charge link. So, we will open this up too, just so it saves me time later. Yeah, let's demolish the box. Because I cut my nails. And tape is my mortal enemy. Just like almost every other YouTuber. Is there honestly a YouTuber who loves tape? And now I know people in the comments are going to say, Oh, I love tape just because you think you're funny. You're not funny. Sorry. Not sorry. Yeah, let's completely demolish the box. And boom, there's your cable. Your big, not big, but your nine foot cable. Finally, I can use my gamepad again after so many months. All right, <coughs> I guess we'll save Alex's package for last. Best for last, why not? It is organic. <laughs> but uh, we'll go with the fire cell here. Yeah, let's not show my address. But, uh, oh, cool. We actually got a pack of uh, National Hockey Card Day Canada. That's awesome. I didn't even know he was sending that, but that's cool. And, uh, which one's this? He says, thanks, Roberts. You have two packages. This one starts off with, oh, yes, the Bishop Rookie. Now I remember this one. This is going to be fun. Oh, man, I can't wait. You guys are going to love this. And we have, oh, cool, we have two packs of uh, National Hockey Card Day to open up. I remember I got those sometimes from those random pack things I buy. And once again, I have two packages. Oh, yeah, the Kadobin Young Guns. We'll start off with this one. All right, is that what, Iserman on the back? My first Steve Iserman card. I know, sad, right? Ah. Anyway, so we start things off here with uh, Anton Kudobin Young Guns. I did not get these for eight, by the way, but, uh. Yeah? I'm recording! We have uh, two Freddy Hamiltons. Got the, those for really cheap. Oh, these are numbered. 71 of 99 and 95 of 299. Why is one different than the other? Different numbering's weird. Okay. Oh no, it was a Lichstrom, my bad. Lichstrom UD game jersey. Because Lichstrom's awesome. We'll go with this one next. He knows I was recording. Why did I don't get him? I don't get parents sometimes. I tell them I'm recording and then they just forget. It makes no sense. Okay, next up we have Harry Terry, uh, Future Watch Auto. We have a Martin Jones marquee rookie, and uh, we know I collect these. So, of course, I had to get that. Got this Hawak Auto. Looked really awesome. So, I figured why not pick it up. 
Oh man, which lightning is this again? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Keith Ollie. Probably pronouncing that wrong. Then we have a Jared Stahl, which is numbered 337 to 399, and a Justin Falk auto from Absolute Hockey. Go with this one with Hedman on it. Oh, yes! Eliash cards. I miss that guy so much. So here we are with Patrick Eliash. Hopefully I get this done in time before the Devils game starts. Clear-cut superstars of Victor Hedman. This is actually from last year's series, too. Oh, they had clear-cut superstars in that set? I didn't even know that. That's probably because I never pulled one, despite all the plaster box boxes I've opened up of that. I accidentally thought this was a Sharks card because of all the colors, but it is a Corey... Is it Kanaker? Kanaker? Oh, auto card, which I guess is cool since he is on the uh, Lightning. This awesome marquee rookie of Logan Couture. I love these uh, die cut cards. Uh, level 2 gold for Broussard. This one's cool. Uh, Rising Force number 290 of 999 of Elias Lindholm. Never opened up full force. I was kind of wanted to though. Is that four on the card? No, that's that's what I thought. Okay, the the four is on the top loader by the or the sleeve. We have a uh, cane canvas. Oh, this is a cane canvas lot actually. <laughs> so I have a checklist. I don't have any of these canvases actually. I know that I have his canvas from. Uh, 1415, but not 1516. So I'll put those away. Back in the, uh... I pause the video and see what he wants, but I mean... I don't want to edit my video. Too lazy to do that right now. I don't care if the corners get a little damaged on these. Since it's for my collection anyway. And there's the uh, Be A Player Auto of Eliash. Which looks awesome. Final. Final thing here before we go to the packs and then Alex's awesome package. So this awesome rookie of uh, Ben Bishop. Numbered... 788 of 999. Of course, we have to get Calamari. Numbered uh, 98 of 125. This is from this year's artifacts, actually. Love how it's both red uh, parts of the jersey. Here we have uh, Petrangelo. We know he's a player IPC. We have Henrik from Black Diamond. 14, 15. I miss, I miss this black diamond. And then a Justin Falk frozen fabrics from ice. So, let's see, run in, let's see what are in these hockey day packs. I look, okay, good. I was about to say, I'd like to open up one of these, the, uh, the, I guess, the way to preserve a pack. As long as I get the cards out, well, this pack's preserved, pretty much. Of course, when I do it on camera, I cannot get the cards out. Dang it! Can I push it through? No? Okay. Ew, there's Domi! I don't like Domi. There would be Domi. Alright. Okay, so. We have... Oh, these look better than previous years, I must say. So we have the Hockey Heroes of Doug Gilmore. Canada's rookie, Sam Bennett. Pride of Canada, Andrew Ladd. Hockey Heroes, Wayne Gretzky. 
and Canada's rookies, Max Domi. And then here's the set list, which of course does not have any sharks. <laughs> not that it really matters. But uh, next pack, or final pack. Okay. I guess my nails are that bad that I cannot open packs. Alex, please tell me you did not send me packs of cards. <laughs> I forgot what awesome stuff is in there, but... Sure, let's open that pack that way. Pride of Canada, Taylor Hall, who is now on the Devils. Hockey Heroes, Bobby Orr. Canada's rookies, Robbie Fabry. Pride of Canada, John Tavares. Aw, oh, we almost went no duplicates. Oh well. That's still cool though. Now for the grand finale. This wonderful, wonderful package. Where'd I, where'd I put the where'd I put the box cutter? I thought I had the box cutter next to me. I thought I had this all planned out. Did I just hit my tripod? Probably. Where did I put it? Oh. Forgot to move it. Oh well. So gonna open this box and be excited. I know he's gonna be happy that I am uh opening this. Alright. Guess we got lightning swag in here. I never say swag, but I felt like saying it there. Alrighty, so we have a bag of goodies. 1415 opening night. Oh, yeah, now I remember what this is. We got fun stuff in here. The bag itself I can use, which is awesome. But, uh... We got, uh, this thing. It says, Go Bolts. And it moves. I don't know. I don't know what you do with this. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what you do with this. I don't know why I thought you shake it. Uh, noise clock. Okay. Oh, they're like fingerless gloves, though, so I'm gonna use these as fingerless gloves. Nice. Alright, I like that, I like that. Oh, yes! Yes! I'm excited. I I'm excited now. I I I we're, we're saving that for last, but I'm excited. We're saving that for last. I know what that is. We have this uh, NHL network. Necklace. Oh, this would be perfect for my nephew. Th this I know what to use. <laughs> that I know what to, uh... That, that I know how to use, pretty much. Um... Oh, no way! It's one of those light-up bracelets. Except I just press the button to light it up. That is... That's awesome. I just don't know if it fits me. I don't think it fits me, though. That that That's okay. I can make it light up, though. That That's cool. See? I can make it light up. That's awesome. Probably shine this after every lightning goal. That I really like. Alright. We got a light up Bam Bams. Move Bam Bams, press back and fold, pull the tab at the top. Tack, 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 tack. So we got uh, instructions on those. That's awesome. Yes. Yes, we got my hockey tape. Cannot wait to put these on my uh, street hockey sticks. Ah, I can't wait. 
I forgot he was sending that to you. And then... We got a poncho. Yeah. Is, is it a lightning poncho? It's a lightning poncho. We got a poncho. Alright, let's put everything back in the bag and show you guys the, uh, the really awesome thing. So excited. I feel like a little kid. Yeah, no, seriously, I'm not going to use these as noise clackers. Larry's just going to use them as weird fingerless gloves. He's probably going to laugh that I don't know what this is. I feel like you can put it in a binder or something. Oh, it's a bookmark or something, isn't it? That That's what it is, right? Is that what it is? I don't know. I still don't know what that is. But, let's just call this the Kucherov care package. We'll get to the shirt later. Oh yes, Russian player pucks. Oh, these are great. Th these will go very well with my Schneider and uh, the Kavlier pucks that he sent me. So we have Kucherov and we have Vasilevsky. I love these pucks. I'm not going to show the back since they have prices. Rather not show those. There's that. This shirt. Oh, this shirt. It's blank on the back. But on the front. On the front. Cooch. <laughs> oh, I love it. <sighs> Absolutely love it. Oh, I cannot wait to wear this. I'm so happy. I, I totally forgot that this was in the uh, package, but, uh... Ah, yes. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Now I gotta get that Cuckoo for Cocoa Puff shirt. But anyway, that is gonna do it for this video. Thank you for the uh, Kucherov care packages, I'm gonna call it, Alex. Since we got the Kucherov shirt and the uh, puck. With the Vassy puck. Ah, I'm so happy. We got the cool bracelet that... You know, sadly does not fit, but you know, it, it's okay, unless I can adjust, oh wait, I can adjust it. Oh, I can adjust this. We're good. We're good, guys. It adjusts. I'm just stupid. How do I lock it, though? How do I lock this thing? Lock. Lock, dang it. Whatever, there we go. It's on my wrist, yes. It's not locked, but it's on my wrist, which I'm, I'm okay with. Because now that reduces the chance of me breaking it, I guess. How do I unlock it, though? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm stupid. I, I see how to lock and unlock it now. And of course, oh, I cannot wait to put this on my ass. You know, if it wasn't dark out, I'd probably be putting these on and whatnot. But anyway... <coughs> And of course we got all the other goodies in the bag, the poncho, the uh, hand clapper thing. Whatever this is, I'm pretty sure goes in a binder since it has the hole there, but I could be wrong. I'm totally wrong. Well, I mean, plus this side here makes me think it goes in a binder. You let me know, Alex. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.